What's up operators? Today I'll be going over my USMC Operation Phantom Fury loadout. My loadout is not a complete impression, just a fun kit theme I did with the crew from Haley Strategic. My helmet is an ACH with a Desert Marpat helmet cover, a standard issue Nerodos NVG mount, and a tan cat eye band. Some marine units were camo netting on their helmets, so I added it as well to help break up my silhouette. For eye protection, I'm using Revision Shadow Strike Ballistic Sunglasses. This kit comes with several different color lenses and forms a very tight seal around your eyes. Before the game starts, I always use some anti-fog spray on my lenses. For face protection, I'm using a Matrix Wire Mouth Under the Mask Teeth Protector. The plate carrier I'm wearing is the Interceptor Multi-Threat Body Armor System, or IBA. The IBA was designed in the late 1990s and was most prevalent in the US military during the early 2000s. The IBA was phased out by 2007 and replaced by the Modular Tactical Vest, or MTV. Inside my IBA are foam inserts to help it keep its shape, along with two fake plates. Attached to my IBA are two double M4 magazine pouches carrying two PTS EPM-1 mid-cap magazines, a US military standard issue magazine pouch that I use to carry grenades, and a groin protector, obviously to protect my eagle and globes. The IBA is the same body armor system I used when I deployed to Iraq in 2007. Knowing how much these sucked, I opted not to wear the throat, deltoid, and side sappies. My uniform is my issued Marine Corps Combat Utility Uniform in Desert Marpat. To carry all my extra supplies, I'm using a USMC ILBE Assault Pack. The ILBE Gen 2 Backpack System is made of three parts. The main 74 liter rucksack, with its main purpose being to house your sleep system, survival gear, and clothing. The 8 liter lid, which sits on top of the main rucksack. It offers storage for smaller, handier items such as gloves, headlamps, hats, etc. And lastly, the 24 liter assault pack. Inside my ILBE assault pack is a camelback, radio, AGM thermal handheld optic, electrical tape, speed loader, and of course a lot of extra grenades. The airsoft gun I'm using is the Bolt BRSS M16A4 with electric blowback. Attached to my M16A4 is a replica ACOG with honeycomb kill flash, a replica InSight M3X flashlight, replica Knight's Armament vertical grip, and RunCam 2 scope cam. Powering my AG is a Titan Power 11.1 volt 2600 milliamp lithium ion battery. The Bolt BRSS M16A4 is a very fun AEG, but like most Bolt airsoft guns, it will eventually shake itself to pieces. The external quality of the AEG is great. The gun is full metal except the stock and pistol grip. Internally, it comes with a 6.01 Type 4 barrel. The biggest downside is the feature that makes it the most fun, the electric recoil. This gun kicks so hard that it shook the rear lens off my replica ACOG along with loosening all the other screws on it. It also shook loose a rear buttstock screw on the gun itself. If you're looking for the most simulated recoil for your airsoft gun, this is it. Just be warned, this gun will need a lot of regular maintenance and even then it may still break from the sheer power of the bolt recoil shock system. <laughs> it's actually like spider. I think I think it's like killing itself now. Yeah. Just shaking itself apart. Yeah. I mean that's what they do. They just break themselves. Shed with the X. <laughs> Shoot, someone who's already dead. Okay, he's dead, he's dead. Shit. Uh. My ACOG thing fell apart. More gameplay with this kit to come. Let me know what other loadouts you'd like to see me do in the comments. Subscribe for more weekly content. And as always, this is Jet Desert Fox, and I'll see you on the field. That was the only one? Yeah. 
Sorry, sorry, partner. In this corner, in the right corner, 